We begin tonight with new information on a breaking news story we brought you earlier today. The jaw-dropping decision in the case of Yen Soaring and Elizabeth Haysom. The state parole board has granted both of them parole after decades in prison for the 1985 murders of her parents, Derek and Nancy Haysom in Bedford County. Tonight, new details on how that will work. The chairman of the parole board, Adrian Bennett, told me tonight that Immigration and Customs Enforcement will pick the two of them up very quickly and hold them until they're deported to their respective countries of Canada and Germany. Nothing can overturn the parole board's decision now. This is final. Remember, though, Soaring also petitioned the parole board for an absolute pardon. After an in extensive investigation, the parole board also ruled that they find no merit whatsoever to Soaring's claims of innocence. Bennett wanted to make sure the people of Bedford County understood that. Neither Soaring nor Haysom will be allowed in the United States again. More on this story right now. ABC 13's Brett Vickery joins us in the newsroom. And Brett, you spoke with residents from around the area where the murders happened, and they still remember this case. They do. I spoke to a couple of residents that remember the case from back then up until now, and they are intrigued by its resurface. It was just th 34 years ago that residents watched this case unravel right in their town. With the recent DNA evidence that's been reported to not be Soaring's, some have adjusted their opinions. I remember sitting down with my dad and watching a lot of the trial on TV, which was a big deal for us. We never had anything of that type in our area before. The reason I'm scratching my head is who did it? It seemed like enough evidence was there to merit his uh, release after so many years to have him return to Germany and let him, you know, be free. We were unable to get in contact with authorities tonight whom actually worked on this case back in 1985, but in the past, Major Ricky Gardner has stood by the investigation and Soaring's conviction. To get more videos and live coverage and local stories, click to subscribe and download our ABC 13 News app.